Well, thank you so much, Special Envoy Amas Hofstein, for being with us here today at Make It Make Sense, where what we aim to do is just what the title says. We try to give people the who, what, where, when, and why to break down complex topics in a way that we can all understand them. And you know more about energy and therefore gas prices <laughs> um, than most, probably more than many want to know, but I, I am hearing that things are trending for the good is that right and if so what's changing so first monique thank you so much for having me on your show it's really it's really a pleasure to be here i'm excited about being able to talk to you and your listeners so yeah you know over the last few months american families american drivers have experienced prices just every it felt like for a few months even for me every time i went to the gas station it felt like it was higher than the one before, than the last time i went there it was like five cents higher, 10 cents higher, another five cents. It was just driving me nuts, driving everybody in America crazy. And it really hurts, you know, when you're trying to drive to work um, and you're trying to calculate your month and suddenly your expenses just went up unexpectedly. So it's really hard. And I'll tell you that already a few months ago, President Biden called me into his office and just said, you know, Amos, this can't this has to stop. We have to do everything we can to bring down prices. And, and the effects that these gas prices have, it's not just on consumers, on, on people filling up their cars. I like to tell people that we don't have a, we don't eat food in a farm to table. We're right. in a farm to truck to table. So when you go to the supermarket, everything in that supermarket was on a truck at one point. And that That's means right. that truck had to pay for gasoline or diesel. So if that price goes up, guess what? Your bananas, your cereal, your bread, your milk, your eggs, whatever it is, your meat, all goes up. And for the farmers that are planting, it goes up for them too, because gasoline for them, for their trucks and their tractors. So when you have gasoline prices go up, everything goes up. So he's been bang President Biden's been banging on us. You got to make a change. And he we took a lot of steps. We can go into it if you want. But the bottom line is this. Over the last 35 days, gasoline prices have gone down every single day. Sometimes two cents, sometimes five cents. It's the fastest decline of gasoline prices that we've had in like over a decade. And is this a decline that's going to remain? Because it seems that much of the external factors, and by that I mean global factors that precipitated it are still in play. Um, so what's, what's the change? So you're right. So, so let's just level set of where we are. So we were at $5 about five, six weeks ago, average for gasoline prices. And today we're at about $4.47. So that's already over 50 cents have come down, 445, something like that. And the most common gas price that your listeners will see is less than $4, $3.99. I even saw one gas station today that published that they were at $2.99. So things are going in the right direction. But they're you're, not in the they're not in the nation's capital. Let me tell you that. But I I'm, I'm waiting for them. <laughs> I, I'm I'm driving to the nation's capital too, and I'm waiting for that too. But I'll tell you, no gas station has an excuse to charge high prices of four ninety nine or four sixty nine right now. That's a choice, and their margins are too high. And what we what the president's been telling oil companies and you know people on the hill and other players were blaming him for intervening in the market. And he's saying, guys. I see oil prices come down. I need to see the gasoline prices come down because that's what the presidents did. So he released oil out of the reserves. They're called in America, they're called the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, which is basically this huge caverns that hold uh, a lot of oil, hundreds of millions of barrels of oil in reserve and for emergencies. We released a million barrels a day for six months. So we're in the middle of that. So that brought prices down a little bit. He then went to the rest of the world and negotiated and asked them, you got to do the same. So they released another something like 300,000 barrels a day around the world. And we've asked refineries in the Middle East and in Europe to increase their production of gasoline. So all these factors helped in bringing prices down. But there's something called rockets and feathers. And I think every one of your listeners will understand, will, will appreciate this. When, a, when oil prices go up, the gasoline prices, they shoot up like a rocket. When oil prices go down, they come down like feathers. They go real slow. So what yeah. the president did is he wrote a letter to the company and said, enough is enough. 
There's a war in Europe. There are really big things happening around the world. American public's paying an enormous price. You got to bring those prices down. Don't wait and take profits, bring them down. And that's why we're seeing that reaction now. So we're going to do everything we can uh, to bring the prices down. We know that we have to deal with Vladimir Putin in Russia that is threatening us all the time that he'll cut off oil supplies. Mm -hmm. And that's part of the reason the president went to the Middle East. Uh, these are difficult trips the president has done. He went to Europe and the Middle East in order to affect things back home. Because there are things we can do here at home, but we also got to do it um, overseas in order to bring prices down. Well, absolutely. And I'm not going to be like one of those uh, ridiculous uh, commentators with no names that you've had to deal with this week talking about fist bumps and handshakes and high fives. These are serious times. And I appreciate the work that the president is doing. And I really just wish we knew more of it. Uh, and that's certainly our goal here. So we feel though like sitting ducks, I've got to say, um, be, you know, you're a special envoy, so you've got specialized skill and you can see when things are happening. We don't have any way to know what next month is gonna look like. And people have been planning, they thought, to drive across the country instead of fly because of the prices of flights. Now it's looking like flying is cheaper than driving and all of the other things that you said. So I'm, I'm not asking you for the crystal ball, but what's your best guess about where we're gonna be through the end of the summer? So I think we're, we're gonna continue banging at this and working hard. And um, President's really, he's spending a lot of his time on bringing down prices. I think we're going to continue to see prices coming down. And it's ironic because, you know, the summer is when everybody drives, just like you said, this is when people go on vacation, take long drives. Um, and with after COVID, a lot of people don't want to be on a plane or they don't want to be sitting in a train with 400 people around them. So people like being in their car, you know, where it's just them and their families, the windows down, the music playing. And I, I we want to bring, so the prices are coming down in the middle of a time when usually they go up and mm -hmm. that's, part of what he is doing but you're right instead of talking about did he shake his hand or fist bump which is maybe the silliest thing i've ever heard on a trip where we're talking about you know countering a war countering an iranian regime getting nuclear weapons and what they're asking us is did you fist bump um or just shake his hand he is committed president biden is committed to doing whatever he can in the interest of the united states and for people and prices is chief among them. So I think I would tell people, look, two things. One, we're going to continue to try to bring the prices down. Two, do your research. Don't just drive into the first gas station. That's my advice. Yeah. Because I got to tell you, sometimes you drive and you say you filled it up and you saw it at 459. Yeah. And you drive three blocks, you're like, gosh, look at that. It's 439 and six yeah. blocks away. And there's no excuse for that. That just means the other gas station owner is trying to make extra money. They're trying to hold on and they're trying to, you know, get money out. So let's not go to the highest. There are all kinds of apps out there that will tell you. It's real simple while you're driving. You can just see where's my, based on where I am, where's the cheapest gas station? Go, let's reward the, the gas stations, owners who are bringing down the price. Let's keep putting pressure on oil companies, on the refineries and the gas stations that when the oil prices come down, you bring it down. So if the guy, if the owner a few blocks away, is it 439 or 399? Everybody should be. There's no reason. So that's my two advice, two pieces of advice. One, I think you're okay to drive. I think that you're okay to plan that drive because I think prices are going to continue to come down. I said it a couple of weeks ago. I want to remind you, Monique, something. Those same people talking about fist bumps, you know what they're trying to hide, why they're talking about fist bumps? Because just a few weeks ago, they were saying President Biden is causing gasoline price to go up, they're going to go to $7 and $8. Yep. Now, they don't want to talk about the fact that it went from $5 to $4 yes. in, in the other direction. So they're talking about whether or not he did a, you know, a silly fist bump. Um, yep. That's the most important thing right now for people driving in their cars, wondering, as you said, Monique, should I fly or should I drive? Well, there was a fist bump. No, they don't want to talk about the fact that gas prices are coming down. And that as a result, food prices are going to be coming down and all the other things. So I think they are coming down, but we should all, I say this to my, to my family, let's look, make sure we go and give business to the gas stations that care about what's happening in America right now. 
and bring down the prices when they can. Well, absolutely. And those are two great pieces. I'm glad to hear that it seems like we're still going to be trending in the right direction and to hear action items that people can do. And hey, they've all got social media. They're going to be watching us and they can use their own platforms. I tell people all the time, use your own voice. So why not use it in your community to brag on the, the business owners that are doing right by their community and right by their customers. So I love it. And we certainly appreciate you here at Make It Make Sense. You're welcome anytime. And I hope it's coming back with more good news. Hey, Monique, I promise you this. Anytime you want me back, I'll be back. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Have a great day. All right. Take care. Bye-bye.